Hello and welcome to Camisado. I am Balraj, and in today's video, I will discuss Rostov's stages of economic growth. And in this video, I will talk about its critical evaluation, and I will also discuss whether it is a growth model or whether it is a development model, because there is a difference uh, in growth and development. I will also talk about its application in India. and i will also talk about some kind of geographical terms that we can use uh, which we can pick up from geographical thoughts and if we use these kind of terms especially in the introduction and conclusion uh, we can get slightly better marks so for example if we start the introduction we can say that this is an inductive model so an inductive model is one in which we grow go from a particular example to a general conclusion so for example if we burn hydrogen in oxygen what we get is water and whether you do it with one sample or hundreds of samples you will still get water so this is a scientific approach but this kind of approach is not very useful if we apply it to human beings or to countries or to humanities so that is why an inductive approach is not a very good approach when we uh, take into context countries or people and we can also say in the introduction that this is a nomothetic this is a nomothetic approach and a nomothetic approach is again a scientific approach and the opposite of nomothetic is ideographic ideographic is that approach in which we talk about uniqueness of phenomena so for example every human being is unique every country is unique it has its own socio economic conditions so that is why an ideographic approach is better when we talk about human beings or countries so now let us see why the inductive approach or the ideographic approach came in geography see this model uh, rostov stages of economic growth came in the 1960 and the period from 1950 to 1960s was the period of quantitative revolution in geography see what happened was certain geographers during this period had a certain complex that geography was not as certain as subjects in sciences were and therefore they wanted to make geography more certain and to do this they started picking up mathematical models they started picking up statistical models they also started using computers to make geography more specific but the problem with this approach is that this approach is good when you use it in science but when you try to put it where human beings are involved or where countries are involved then this approach uh, is not very successful because every human being is a different human being every country has its own socio economic conditions which are unique to that country and therefore an ideographic approach which talks about the uniqueness of phenomena uh, is more uh, relevant when we talk about humanities so rostov stages of economic growth is primarily a growth model and it is not a development model but what rostov is trying to say is that growth can be the sole criterion of development and this is highly questionable because development is a much much broader concept growth is primarily an economic concept and this is because in development we talk about many things for example we talk about equity we talk about per capita income we talk about happiness index we talk about gender equality index we talk about gender empowerment measure uh, we talk about uh, physical quality of life index and human development index therefore just by saying that if we grow economically development will happen uh, would not be all that correct moreover in the present times we do not talk about just growing these days we talk about growing up to a certain limit and then being able to sustain that growth because these days we are talking about sustainable development and why do we need it these days because just growing would harm the environment we do not want to damage the environment by economic growth that is why we want sustainable development that also protects the environment and does not harm it too much while discussing the critical evaluation it is important to remember that rostov was under the influence of capitalism because he had worked under the us presidents 
during 1960s and this is clearly visible in his theory also where he is trying to project the western model of development as the model of development and if you look at the fifth stage where he talks about high mass consumption and we know that high mass consumption is actually a trait of capitalism so this was also a period of the cold war uh, so therefore he was in a way trying to promote the capitalist tick model of development and the western model of development he was trying to uh, superimpose this model of development over all the developing countries in the contemporary times high mass consumption as the ultimate stage of growth is not what most countries are looking forward to achieving because high mass consumption is not environmentally sustainable moreover in a lot of oriental cultures spiritual satisfaction and happiness is considered more desirable than consumerism which is about high mass consumption the purpose of this model was to anticipate the future but if you look at this stage high mass consumption so after this he has not spoken about sustainable development and because he has not spoken about sustainable development so we can say that this model is not futuristic moreover this model abruptly stops at high mass consumption and therefore we cannot extrapolate this uh, model to future even though uh, in the 70s rostod had spoken about beyond consumption but uh, still in this present model he did not uh, speak about what will happen after high mass consumption so it is uh, difficult to extrapolate this model in future uh, if we take this model as a developmental model uh, we find that this model will not be very useful for developmental planning because a very important aspect of developmental planning is balanced regional development and the model is absolutely silent on balanced regional development an interesting aspect of his model was that he used national averages and we all know that averages can conceal a lot of things for example if there is a river uh with a depth of 5 feet and if there are let's say five friends whose average height is let's say 5 feet so in this situation some friends would be taller than 5 feet some would be shorter than 5 feet so if their average height is 5 feet it does not mean that all will successfully cross the river therefore the use of national averages is not a very good idea in a model and this can also be one of the criticisms of the of the model now let us also look at the indian case study so uh, if you remember i said the spatial aspect of the theory was not very uniform so see india is a very large country and uh, the date that he had given for take off for india was 1952 but in 1952 more than 95% in fact 96 to 97% of the country had not taken off and even if we look at the present situation of the country even now the spatial dimension of the country according to the theory is not very viable because some villages in the country are still in the traditional state whereas if you go to mega cities you will find people live, living in this high mass consumption stage moreover uh, we have top of the line medical colleges engineering colleges top of the line infrastructure so uh, it is very confusing to put india into any one stage therefore uh, we can say that the spatial aspect of the theory is not very uniform however uh, in 2015 when modi ji visited the asean uh, business and investment summit he used the word take off even though he did not talk about rostov but he used the word that uh, india is in the take off stage in 2000 you can google it you will find that in 2015 asean business and investment summit modi ji had used the word take off though he did not refer to rostov in this video i will not be discussing these five stages of growth because it is a very factual uh, content you can find it uh, on youtube very easily and it is also available very easily in the books however if you want me to make a separate video on the five uh, growth stages given by rostov please write it down in the comments below i will make a video on that also and uh, thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel camisado